club was started by a, a, an old fellow named Coley Luter. And Coley was the cowboy boss of the west side of the Anchor D. Well, he became old, and so he decided he didn't want a cowboy anymore. So he come to town and he bought this building from the Ford. It was a, this building was the first Ford mechanic shop. And it was half as big as that other side. And then he, he doubled that side. And there's still an old oil pit over here on this where they drained the oil out of the cars. And he, uh, he started a bar here. And he ran the bar for several years and then he passed away. When he passed away, he gave it to his barman. And that upset his wife quite a bit. I can see that. And his children. Ah. But it happens. That happens. So then it went through three. How many names was here? I mean, but it was Coley's. Yeah. And then it was who? Rollins. No. Well, it was no. There was some lady that had it. Yeah. But, but anyway, it went through three or four names, and then it was. Ron's and Ron and Bob Grubel was partners and so they decided they wanted to dissolve the partnership so they said okay well we're going to uh, flip coin whoever loses has to buy the ball at, a, at this price and so Ron won and Bob lost so he bought the bar so he named it Bob's and all he had to do is just change wrong all. <laughs> anyway it was they they left it that way and then when I bought it I just said added the cowboy one. So that's the way it was and then I added I doubled the size of it and put the decks on it. 